You're here for tonight's early evening lineup on Carlton. You're watching Carlton. Now, the very first edition of London Tonight. Tonight, ecstasy, a special report on a deadly craze. Just junk, you, you name it, just anything that's white and powdery was in there, so they were just really stupid things to take. They call it the love drug. The reality is often far different. She was just shaking and rolling around and screaming on the floor. Good evening, I'm Alastair Stewart. And I'm Fiona Foster. That special investigation into the love drug that kills coming later. Also tonight, you've heard about the supermarket price war. We reveal which store really is the cheapest. And a quest to find true love on the tube. This is romance. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> I'm getting a hairpiece, contact lens and a corset. And getting back in the race. <laughs> also, our reporters are out and about the region. I'm at Reigate Hill on a foggy M25, a road plagued with motorway madness like this. So, should motorway driving lessons be made compulsory? And I'm in London's West End, where a theatre show is closing every week. But I'm here to ask Paul Nicholas why his show Barnum is riding high. This is London Tonight. Welcome to your new style programme for London and the South East. We'll be here for the next hour tonight and every night with a bigger, better service to reflect the capital's worldwide importance. Start to the summary, uh, it will become drier and clearer later on during the day. That's it for me. I'll see you later on tonight. Bye bye. Now you've seen the weather, you've had the travel forecast as well. We're going to be back with that formula every night this week and we hope for the rest of the season. We hope very much that it's a habit that you enjoy with the sport, the travel and the weather and Fiona. Tomorrow, Clive James on fame of the 20th century, the second part of our special assignment report on ecstasy and of course we'll have all the sport with Matthew, won't we Matt? I've got Bill Wyman as a guest on Wednesday actually, You're talking taken. about Crystal Palace, is their um, most famous supporter I'd say. Bill Wyman is something very much for me to look forward to because I remember when the Rolling Stones first came out. But that's about it from the first ever edition of London Tonight on the day the capital simply ground to a halt in traffic chaos. Well, we asked the man from Westminster Council why they waited until today to close the bridges instead of doing it over Christmas. This, believe it or not, is what he told us. That's all from Give us. Give some ear to it. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be back tomorrow. Join us then. Have good a good night. evening. There was more people around over Christmas than there will be in the next 10 days or so.